All right, it is time to start vlog five. So this is probably going to be the vlog that my mystery box comes in. I was hoping it was gonna be last vlog, but of course, since it's coming from this sketchy McSketch town, um, it's not coming until tomorrow, which is Saturday, which I was hoping it would be coming today so I could cram it into last vlog, but pfft, whatever. But anyways, um, I'm actually about to take my driver's test, which is super exciting. So, yeah, I mean, I may come back fully licensed after. Jesus. I may come back fully licensed after this clip. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, we just got back from the testing center and I am officially licensed. I have my license. I'm super excited. So, yeah, that's really awesome. So, yeah, so I, I did it through a third party um, testing center. So I don't actually have my full license. I have a temporary license for the next like two weeks before I get, you know, the photo card and everything. So that shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, give us enough time before we actually do head down to Florida next month. All right, so today is the day of the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. Super exciting. So we're going to head out pretty soon, but first I should probably get a shower because I look and smell disgusting. So I will be right back. All right, and I look a lot better now, so we should be pretty much ready to go i'm just waiting for a few things to finish charging like my phone right here is charging and um just like a few other things like one of my camera batteries and stuff like that but other than that we should be pretty much ready to go so uh yeah let's go have some fun at the uh 2021 pittsburgh vintage grand prix all right we just got over here check out the turnout this is crazy they got like army trucks and stuff over here Got a bunch of cool cars. Got like a bunch of dealership booths over there. Yeah, this is sick. This is so sick. It's gonna be a good time. Sick looking Ford GT with everything open. 05. That's awesome. Some nice stuff here. Plymouth Prowler. Ooh. An old Cobra. Check out all these vets. Damn. Got original vet. All the way to like C8. I don't know if there's any. Oh, yeah, there's a C8 back there. A couple C7s. Got C6. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's sick. 2022 Genesis G70. I love the last generation G70. It's one of my favorite. Um, you know, little sedans, and this thing looks oh, so cool. I love the matte white paint. That first off, that is awesome. And this, look at this thing in the red interior. Oh my gosh! See how this is the launch edition model? That's so sick. Got the tuner Subarus. Got some WRXs, some old Imprezas. Yeah, these are sick. We got the three Cadillac SUVs. We got the small. We got the small one, the XT4, XT5, and the XT6 over there. I actually did get to ride in the XT6 pretty recently. It's a nice car. It feels really nice. Um, so, yeah. Cadillac has really improved their lineup over the past couple of years. These things are awesome. Go from what did I think is a C3 to like a C4 custom bodywork, maybe to this dope looking C8, to a awesome looking C5. Look at these things, these are sick. Got a bunch of old MGs. This is all British stuff. Wow, this is awesome. Look at these, wow. MG with a V8. Oh, nice. awesome. Got the 2021 Lotus Aurora GT. This thing's sick. Got a BBS tuned. 
What I think is a Mark 8 Golf. That's sick. All right, we walked into all of the Audis. Got the old TT. Small A6s, A8, RS5. Got the R8. I love the R8, it's one of my dream cars. Look at this thing. Here's an Aussie Shepherd, but they're nice. So this is actually a manual Audi R8. It's a V8, but it is still awesome. I love this car. The R8 Spider. Is this an R8 GT? No. This thing's sick though, another manual. Look at that thing. Got this, uh, got some R8 V10s. Nice looking. Is this an S8? Kind of looks like it. Got gold wheeled R8 V10, another manual. This an S8, no, this is a regular A8. It's a sick though. RS5. I love the RS5. The S3. Look at this thing. The yellow. That's sick. Look at all those Porsches. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Alright, so slight change of plans. We actually just came back home. Um, it's only like 12. 30 right now so I'm actually gonna go back there tomorrow and get more footage because really, the weather really doesn't look all that great right now and um, yeah might make sense to just go back again tomorrow so that's what we'll do so yeah we actually copped a little bit of, uh, of gear while you're we there so if I turn the lights I ended up getting this pretty sweet looking uh, chair from uh, from Volkswagen actually. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll fit in it, but ah. that's a low rider. It's nice though. Why am I chilling in this in my room? I don't know, but that ain't bad. Okay, so my mom actually just made me a challenge. Since my mystery box was absolute crap, if I can find a phone for under $20, she'll get it for me. So we're gonna see what we can find. I'm gonna look on eBay right now and see what I can find. And with that, I have just ordered the phone. So uh, they should be processing the order right now, but it hopefully should be here in a couple days. I'm thinking around Wednesday or Thursday, which will be great. So I will tell you now, it is another Motorola phone and it is adding to the Droid series collection. So I have the, I cur the current Droid phones I have are the Droid Mini right here. I have my Droid Turbo 2, my Z Force Droid, and if I can find it, my HTC Droid Incredible LTE. So, I'm getting another Droid phone. I'm not gonna tell you which one, but I'll tell you it is another Motorola. So, now I have four Motorola Droid phones, which is super awesome. All right, so the Z Force is acting where is crap. So I was just going to try to unlock it to, you know, shut it off, and it the digitizer just didn't feel like working. The fingerprint sensor wasn't working. It's restarting now, so uh, I don't know. That was super weird. Uh, let's see if it works this time. No, the digitizer just stopped working. What the? Yeah, fingerprint sensor's not working either. What the fuck? Okay, that, that's really not good. Alright, the Z Force is just sitting here charging right now. I had to hard I had to hard reset it, so but yeah, it did work, so I'm just gonna leave it charging overnight and then I'm just gonna see what's going on in the morning. Hopefully this, you know, fixes itself because that was super weird where both the digitizer and the fingerprint sensor just stopped working. I don't know what is going on. So, yeah. All right, moment of truth. Let's find out if the Z Force really does have a dead digitizer. So, we're booting. That doesn't tell us much, though. Alright, 
let's find out. No, are you serious? It's not working. I think the Z Force digitizer is dead. Yeah, nothing. Wow, it's dead. All right, we are about to head back to the Grand Prix, go get some more footage. So let's go. All right, heading up there now. Should be there in just a couple of minutes. So, yeah. All right, we just got over here to the show. People are just kind of starting to roll in. So, not too many people here yet. I mean, there's definitely a good amount, but more people should be rolling in as time goes along. We got some nice, uh, got some older Jeeps up here. Got an old, old Jeep next to a JL and a nice looking JK. We're gonna come up here to the uh, cars and coffee display. I wonder if uh, Dr. M3 or Auto Vlog are gonna be here. They weren't here yesterday, so I don't know. Got some nice vets. We got a nice looking C5 right there. Got this crazy looking custom body or Viper. That's awesome. All right, checking out the cars and coffee display. We got this dope looking. 570s thing's sick look at that wing we got uh rogue supercars m8 comp check out this model 3 this thing is crazy with this insane psychedelic uh color oh my god they even did it to the back of the infotainment screen and like part of the inside that's so sick that's awesome nice looking ttrs got this 992 little m pretty cool Old 996 Turbo. Got some, got this nice uh, 458 or 480, I don't know. Uh, some more Porsches, MP4, this sick looking Huracan. And then we got the bad boy. We got Dr. M3's Aventador SVJ Jago. Look at this thing. The thing is insane. Oh my God. All right, we're walking up to the Italian car display right now. We'll see what we got going on here. Looking pretty nice so far. Looks like we got some old, uh, older Maseratis and Alphas and stuff. So be pretty cool. Got some old Maseratis. Is that an old Maserati coupe? I'm really not sure. We got Gran Turismo. Is that a Cadillac Alante? Kind of looks like it. It's pretty sick. Another old Maserati, maybe coupe. <laughs> got some sweet looking Alphas, got the Stelvio. Got some pretty cool looking Julias. Alpha needs to bring more models to the US. Four C, it's pretty sweet. Got this nice looking Gallardo. One, two, four, back there, back, back there. It's a different Miata. Looks like we have a Lancia down here. Is this a Lancia? I don't know. Up, oh, yep. Lancia Delta HF Integrale 16 valve. That thing's sweet. Got the cool lineup of red Ferraris. California on the end. Look at these things. Those are sick. I see an FF up here. Is that a. Ah, oh, that's a Luso. That's a GTC4 Luso. That line up down here. Holy crap. That's crazy. Wow, that is so awesome. There's so many vets. A ton of C7s rolling up. Yeah, these things are nasty, dude. What? 
that's insane. I'm on your way, Emma. You're good. Is that the, the Roma? Looks like it. Pretty sweet. Look at these men. All right, question is, how do I make my way down here? This is gonna be really tricky. I don't think I'm gonna have to go back around. Mm. Got the little electric car space, got some Teslas, there's a Chevy Volt mixed in there. Pretty sweet though. Look at this thing. That's sexy. We got all the vets over here. At C7s to C like twos. Nuts. Like two day. Dope looking E wagon. Man, that thing is killer. Back into uh, Audi Club of America. Man, that is crazy dope. Love that. We're gonna walk down here. I think there's more uh, dealership booths down this way. Over here at Porsche Club of America. Got some pretty sick Porsches. Yeah, it's a nice little display. And we've walked into the Mercedes area. Is this a C63? Black Series, because it's like a 507 or something. Let's see. Oh, it's just a C350. <laughs> and an SLK 230. It's a nice E-Class, E450, E550. It's nice. Yeah, I can't I'll just wait. Laura will be in. I'll just wait. <laughs> Sweet. We've got BMW and Volkswagen down here. Let me see if I can get a BMW shirt. Look at this M5 comp. This thing is so sick. Oh god, that's amazing. This is the new 2021 M4 competition. Look at this thing. This thing is an absolute monster. Not a fan of the front end, but overall just an awesome looking car. Yeah. Now we got an M3 rolling up here. God, look at this thing. What a monster. All right, and uh, BMW Car Club of North America. I think we're kind of getting close to the end here. I'm not really sure, but. What is this thing coming up here? Look at that. That's awesome. Little Focus ST road. Whoa. Old bad boy. Sick. Oh, listen to that thing. Holy. That's amazing. Nice little Cayman rolling up here. Look at that. Alright, and now let's get a little cinematic view of everything that I recorded at the show.
super fast day. <laughs> I don't know if that's good to be on the racetrack, but. I thought it was going to crash into the... <laughs> Okay, so the moment just drained its battery out of nowhere, just sitting around doing nothing. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it's it's definitely in that red zone. That's that's a very odd one. Oh, and I wonder who's at my door. How can I help you? It, but up there, there was a crazy looking urus that just turned up there. God, that thing is nuts. Alright, so I got a pretty late start today. It's already like 11.30, which is pretty late for me. But anyways, um, I just got an email from eBay saying that my, um, that my $10 phone is actually going to be here today which it said originally it was going to be here August 9th, then it backed up to sat to this Saturday. Now it's out for delivery now, so it should be here today. So that is good. Unfortunately, I completely murdered the Z Force yesterday. So basically what's going on here is um yeah, that's definitely not good. So what happened is the digitizer stopped working a couple days ago, like I said, and now I was trying to get in and repair it. Unfortunately, I went under the glass instead of the actual OLED panel, and now the OLED is just completely destroyed. So, yeah, this is its last hope of working at all. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not good. You can see there's like a bunch of black spots up here, uh, flickering like crazy down here. Yeah, this thing is done for. 
All right, so uh, car spotting is looking pretty good today. Of course, I missed both of them, but I just saw a dope ass Integra Type R. You never see those around here. That thing had to be, had to have been like a 2000 or an 01. And then I just, and then I literally just missed it, but just passing right by me, I saw this dope ass track hawk. Oh my God. And that thing sounded mean as hell. Oh, so sick. Pretty hard to see, but there is a, uh, S5 Sportback going that way. This is pretty sick. All right, so the $10 phone has arrived. Are you guys ready to see it? Here it is. This is the Droid Razor M. So I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a long time, but yeah, super cool to have this. So let's go and check it out. So here is the Droid Razor M. So pretty cool phone. Um, it's very, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now, it's kind of hard to tell, but it does have a hairline crack in the display, but honestly, that that isn't really a big problem. I actually checked it um, before I started recording this clip, so it really doesn't, it, it doesn't affect the display at all. So but let's go ahead and start it up, take a look at that badass um, startup screen. It does have a 960 by 540 OLED display, which compare that to where is it? To my Droid Mini, this does have an LCD display. Although, they actually look about the same size. But anyways, the badass boot animation. Dude, look at that. That is so killer. And it looks so good on that OLED, yo. Damn. I'm gonna, the uh, brightness is a little low right now. Let's see if I can, no, I can't do it. All right, I'm gonna go and set it up and uh, we'll check it out. All right, so the Droid Razor M is all set up. Let's go ahead and check out what Android version it is on. Let's go to about phone, Android 4.4.2. So I, all my Android 4.4 phones are on 4.4.4. So it's nice to have one on this .2 version. So that's working pretty nicely. Cool, Android 4.4.2. All right, well, since we got everything accomplished that needs to be accomplished this week, that is gonna wrap it up for this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs button, hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch. I swear, there's some point I'm gonna be streaming. Probably should get a PC first though. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.